Susa in this video from location at the Sonoma Fairgrounds. It's the annual indoors short track race in Santa Rosa, California. And today we're going to go and interview the racers, take you around the track, and introduce you to maybe a sport you haven't seen before. That's a mouthful. fans are something else. They, they're very passionate. They hey, you guys ready to see some bar bang and race tonight? I'm Lorraine Stemple and I'm the marketing manager with Sonoma County Harley-Davidson. We have sweatshirts and t-shirts and tin signs and all of our free swag. Hi, my name is Tim Calhoun, the president of Roar Motorcycle. We're a small for me moto company out of Riverside, California, here in Santa Rosa, California tonight. We can do a little racing with our bikes, showcase our bikes. They're small, but they're mighty, about 50 foot pounds of torque. That's the equivalent of like a KTM 450. Our air assisted front forks, great little ride, can take you 50, 70 miles on a trail, about an hour on a moto track. $49.99 retail, it's a great bike and a lot of fun. Check them out. We got 220 dealers nationwide now. You'll find one near you. Who's your favorite racer? Uh, tonight, Shalita Morita. It'll yank, it'll yank a whole shot, it goes. You'll see it, we're gonna jack the cast, watch these guys do racing. If you see me on, I wanna thank you. We're introducing a new electric bike tonight to the racing community and the nation for that fact. I'm fortunate enough to be riding one of them tonight. I'm impressed with the power. I'm used to a bigger, heavier, more powerful bike, but this little jewel is a lot of fun. We are ready to rock tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for being a part of this. What, what time, time is, is it? It's time, time to ride. ride. doing some interviews with some local racers. They come from all over California. What up, I'm Joe Dirt, 163 forever, dude. From Matt Anderson, San Andreas, California. My mom. Hello, man, San Jose, California. Cassidy Hoss out of Placerville, California. David Rich. Rick Sanchez, Freddy Sanchez. Rick Schaefer, Rebbe TG. What time is it? It's time to ride. They're very passionate about their racing. They've been racing for years. It's generation after generation. Their fathers got into it at a young age. So did their children. You see the kids looking up to their fathers and they just, they keep the sport alive and going. Let's go through some interviews with some local racers and uh, see what their background is, get their name, get their age, and see what they're doing here. Let's go. My name is Cameron Ewings and I'm 11 years old. What are you riding? I'm riding a CR85. What class are you riding in? I'm riding in the Super Mini class. How long have you been racing? I've been racing for, since I was three years old. What are you here for? I'm here to win and have fun. Who's your favorite racer? My favorite racer is Brian Bauman. Hey Cameron, what time is it? It's time to ride! And it's, it's not a, 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 a male sport, it's um, also a female sport.
I'm Kristen Rodriguez. I'm 16 years old, and I'm riding my KX250 in the 250 class in the Fast Girls Challenge. I've been racing for about three and a half years, and I got into it because my dad used to race before I was born. And I started seeing flat track videos online, and I wanted to try it. And I'm here at the Santa Rosa Indoor to have fun and hopefully win. Who's your favorite racer? Sammy Halbert. What time is it? It's time to ride. My name is Macy LeBlanc. I'm 21 years old, and I ride a Yamaha 2023 450. And um, this is my third year racing. Um, I'm racing the Open Amateur class here tonight in the Fast Girls Challenge. I'm here to start the preseason off and see where we stand with everybody else. Um, Who's your favorite racer? Probably Cody Cop right now. He's a AFT back to back champion. <laughs> Shalina Moreta. This weekend I'm riding Brian P. Course Honda 230 that they threw me on. Never ridden the thing before, but here we go. <laughs> I got started racing because I used to watch the guys racing on TV and I loved it. I always said I want to do that. And everybody said, you can't be a racer. That's an unobtainable. And I'm just crazy enough that I was like, I think I'm going to try for that. So now that's what I do. I've been racing for like 11 years now. I'm riding in the Fast Girls Challenge tonight. Who's your favorite racer? Uh, I don't have a favorite racer. I have so much respect for so many of the racers, and so like I can't even pick. I love I love all of them. I respect what they do so much. My dad used to race Santa Rosa Indoor back in the day, and so I couldn't not do something that my dad grew up doing too. So he'll be here tonight as well. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm figuring it out. You have to be more gentle on the brakes, not like road race. <laughs> that was a surprise to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit out of breath, but that was badass. That was so much fun. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> what time is it? It's time to ride. <laughs> Bringing the fun times and the good times to the Santa Rosa Indoor Short Track. Hell yes. Oh, yeah. You can tell by the sound, it's very noise in here, but it's a good noise, right? It's pretty loud out here. I don't know if you can hear my voice, but we've got it. Raceway, there and round. It's too loud. It's too loud. Hi, my name is Aaron Ferris. I'm 33 years old and I race Hooligan Flat Track and I am kind of in the amateur on the 450 again, just getting my feet wet. Um, I race a Royal Enfield INT 650. I got involved with the Build Train Race Program from Royal Enfield where they gave us ladies an INT 650. We had to build it into a race bike, learn how to do the build, um, kind of style the bike to our needs, and then learn how to race on it, do the training, go out to AFT events across the U.S. I did this for three seasons. Just want to be an influence to the women out there that, hey, you can go out, get your hands dirty. You can wrench on these bikes. You can learn to ride them. They may be big, scary, uh, maybe tedious, it may be hard. I mean, it's a male dominant industry, but us women are coming in and we're making a movement. And I just want to help encourage other women to go out there and push those limits, break those barriers. Uh, my favorite racer has got to be Cody Kopp. Um, two championships with KTM. What time is it? It's time to ride. Today's video is brought to you by California Property Investment Group, your one-stop shop in real estate. Not even close to the end. It's just beginning. Life is getting lighter while the days are getting right you know what, I must say, this is pretty exciting. I love being in the pits. I love interviewing the racers. They are so much fun. They're so enthusiastic. They, they have a passion for riding motorcycles. And it really comes across in their, their uh, interviews, right? Stefan Nielsen, and uh, I'm a promoter for Running of the Bulls, which is a, a class that's for vintage two-stroke uh, singles mainly for tacos, it's not about as, but uh, over time, kind of morphed into any brand. And here's one of my bikes right here, a 17C, 
It's a Bull Taco 360, 1974. Uh, here's another uh, Bull Taco 250, C and J frame, so 1973. And then we have, this is our modern bike that we run, uh, number five, that's a, called the DTX bike. Uh, over here in Santa Rosa, we're doing our first season opener for running of the Bulls. And um, it's actually our 26th year. I started that in 1998. And uh, we're having the anniversary race at the very same track in Quincy, California in July. And uh, it's going to be awesome. Your favorite racer? My favorite racer is Jonathan Schaefer, number five. What time is it? It's time to ride. Let's go. I'm 64 years old. Uh, we came down here all the way from Seattle, Washington to racing Running of the Bulls and 50 plus tonight. I'm actually riding a very rare one of 20 made champion Husqvarna's. Uh, by all time, I've got seven or eight framers. This is my favorite by far. Uh, we came down here, like I said, all the way to Seattle to have fun. Let's meet new friends, connect with our old friends, and spread the love of the sport. I started, I've been doing this since 1969. Uh, when I was nine years old, and I'm 64 and still doing it and having fun. I pulled him last night, and I got every intention of pulling him tonight, too. Who's your favorite racer? JD Beach. What time is it? It's time to ride. Uh, we have electric motorcycles, we have amateur racing, and we also have the pro racing. They break it up into several groups okay. throughout the day and they race several races until they make it to the main and then winner takes all basically. How's it going? I'm Shelby Miller. I'm 33 years old from Monroe, Washington. I race the pro class. I ride a 22 gas gas uh, 450 and uh, today I'm primarily I'm riding a 2006 Honda Sierra 450. Why are you here? Saw it on the schedule. Uh, it sounded like a lot of fun. I've done concrete one other time uh, a year ago, and I absolutely loved it. So, well, tell us what uh, what got you started in, in racing. Uh, my dad got me started into racing in 2001. He took me a weekend, one day to watch arena cross, and the second day to watch some flat track, and I I was fired up. I was all about it. My dad used to do a little bit when he was a kid, and it's something that he wanted to do, and we were able to do it as a family together. That's what I loved about it. Well, did you race last night? How did I, you do? I did race last night. I ended up winning. With a little bit of luck on my side, but I ended up winning. <laughs> Who's your favorite racer? Uh, I'd have to say Joe Cop all day long. Nicest guy on the planet. <laughs> what time is it? It's time to ride. Let's go. <laughs> For the pro division class, we had heat races to start with. You got to win your heat race to get a direct transfer to the main event. If you didn't win your heat race, you go to a, a semi to make up for some positions in the grid for the main event. They take top two out of the semis, and then they'll have a last chance qualifier where it will be top two out of the last set, last chance to make the field for the 10 rider pro main event. Who's your favorite racer? Uh, Chris Carr, just because uh, we both came from the same area, racing Lodi and whatnot. What time is it? It's time to ride. So the, the main event is coming up, it's 20 laps. I'm gonna strap the camera on the on the pro racer. Just won the uh, dash for cash and we're hoping that he's going to take the main tonight. So let me turn it over to Stevie. My name is Stevie Bonzi. I'm 32 years old. Uh, I'm racing a Honda 450 today in the pro class and I've been racing since I was four years old. Why are you here today? I'm here to have fun mostly. You know, uh, there's a money class, but um, I'm not here for the money anymore. I'm just here to have fun and, and uh, get out with the kids and, and uh, go enjoy the weekend. How'd you get started in racing? I got started in racing because of my dad. Uh, he 
was a flat tracker and um, he raced a lot of his life, but he didn't go too far with it. He went to the expert level, but once I was born, he uh, put everything into me and, and I took off with it. My favorite racer of all time is Nikki Hayden. What time is it? It's time to ride. How's it going, bro? Going good. Crazy racing here on the indoor. How's today event happening for you? How's it working out? Good, you know, a lot of challenges, of course, you know, putting something like this on, but I think it's going great. People seem to love it. Is this your, your first year? Uh, we did it last year, so this will be the second annual. Great. Yeah. What other races do you put on? Oh, uh, geez, we'll do a Super TT this year at Roseville. We've got a short track up in uh, Pendleton, Oregon, and we'll do a short track down in King City for the opening night of their fair. Great. Thank you very much. You bet. Good to have you. I just won the fastest girls challenge here at Santa Rosa Indoor. There was a lot of crashes and restarts, but I just saw that my spawn was able to get the win. My first time doing this kind of race, and I am stoked. Hey, thank you for letting me use your motorcycle. This is quite was incredible. That was like, that was such a good time. I have not done this type of racing before, so that was a little bit intimidating, but Brock was like, just get out here. And you just didn't know me, I had to have some more traffic to get back at the end. And it was again great. Walk us through what happened. I lost a little bit of control coming out of the corner. Uh, the front end stuck a little bit more than the rear. And when it caught, stood me up. Tried to save it with the throttle. Didn't quite work out as well. But uh, just went over and couldn't get the bike back started. I had an okay start, had a, had a Kyle Hensley in front of me, he was running pretty good, but uh, I just kept trying to work my high-low line, just trying to get a, trying to get a drive because he was coming right off the bottom, and finally he kept slipping up, right, and as I was getting some momentum, I finally got by with two to go. Made it fit, it wasn't pretty, but I made it fit. When I saw your car, he I was like, oh my God, I did keep going, I'm like, ah, I know, right? Just have a good time. Yeah! We are. Let's have a safe night. Thanks for being here. Thanks for supporting the group, being part of this. I'd like to take this time to thank each and every one of you for participating in this video. I enjoyed our time together, sharing your stories and your passion for motorcycles. Without you, this video wouldn't be such a success. Thank you. Ha, ha, ha.